Hi everyone. Before we start the Leasing Shadows right now is doing a Kickstarter campaign and Hi everyone, before we start the Juicy Diary, I would like to talk to you about Elysian Shadows. Elysian Shadows is a 2D action RPG that has been developed for Dreamcast and then it moved on into PC. It's been developed by Team Elysian Shadows and they are right now doing a Kickstarter campaign to raise funds to develop their game. Elysian Shadows has inspired me into doing the Juicy Diary, which is what you're watching right now. They have the adventures of game development that has been running for years on YouTube and they show exactly how the game is being constructed. You can peer inside their development process, which is uh, very cool from the point of view that it looks a lot with... It, it reminds me a lot of what uh, Pure Solar is and how we began and uh, how we had to develop the game until we got here where we are now and uh, I've been personally to their uh, headquarters. I met Tyler Falco and his family. I had the opportunity to to visit their development environment and see their progress and I know these guys they're exactly like watermelon. They are just beginning right now but they have the same passion that we do into developing games uh, that has that nostalgic feeling but what they are doing is they are trying to keep the spirit of the 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 games how how we like them like Zelda and Landstalker and so on and they are also pushing it to the next level by adding elements that haven't been seen before into the RPGs like this such as positional lighting full 3D lighting and full 3D physics into the game so the game will look 2D but it has all these uh, interactions if you grab uh, uh, an object and you throw it or if, if there is uh, some light positionally it will affect the character depending on where the character is uh, it has particle systems that you can it's going to be used for many elements like magics and other stuff uh, it's just a lot of improvement a lot of things that they are just pushing it but without losing the whole concept of what a 2D RPG is. So you can expect a lot of cool stuff, a lot of uh, 2D action like platforming and stuff like you would play with the objects and use the physics in your favor. It, it's gonna be a very interesting game and it's just beginning so it has all the potential and a Kickstarter is what is really gonna tell how far they will be able to go. So. Uh, support them and we are also supporting them I believe it's gonna be a great game let's uh, help all the game community to thrive and I'll see you on the Juicy Diary bye bye so we are now thinking about sending the optional submission to Microsoft so that we can get a hold an idea uh, how close we are to be approved by certification and as we were building the code and we started trying to get something like we have there's a tool that will tell us if our thing is good to go or if there's any problem that we should not even submit yet and it turns out that it's failing because of a library that should be replaced and we are trying to replace that library and we're having troubles uh, trying to fix it and Chewy has been running the code trying to understand what's going on and I'm going to show like right now he is doing some tests to see if we can get something to display 
which apparently we can't so it's like once we replace this library uh, essentially nothing has been showing up and and connect is now tracking my movement and uh, Chewie is trying to to figure out exactly what's going on um, it really looks like we need to update a lot of the, our code because uh, once we change the library, the display library, we just get a lot of nothing like black screen and Chewie is doing a test again. So I'm gonna switch over there and see. Let's hope like something is gonna come up now. He's changing parameters and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So this is one of the PSOL HD tests for graphics to see if things are showing up or not and apparently now they are now we have this has to translate into up, an update into PSHD which not it's not always that simple because PSHD is a very complex uh, software you know it has uh, many components and tree has to make sure that everything is linked correctly in order to get the graphics showing so um, yeah, I guess we're gonna keep trying that and then see if we can get it fixed. Once it's fixed, we're gonna build a package and send for certification and hopefully be approved in everything. But if we don't, at least we know what we have to change and so that type of stuff before we submit like the final certification. So more news later. So we did uh, fix the thing and uh, now I'm gonna do a little test this should do so essentially I think the main thing now I need to see is uh, if the 3D is working wow Looks like it's working. I don't see any problems so far. Okay, this this doesn't look bad, I guess. Uh, Dragonfly, not bad. So let me fail on purpose here. Otherwise, I can play this game for quite a while, you know. The red spheres. Oh, it doesn't matter. Well, it looks like everything's fine now. Um, I'm gonna just go and do like a very fast stress test which is nothing but just like walking around and see if there's like a a character gets a little stuck sometimes the screen actually the scrolling gets a little stuck sometimes but so far everything seems to be going okay it usually gets stuck around here nope no stuck usually around here. No, nothing happened. Um, next test is so enter and exit doors and see how fast it transitions. Seems fast enough to me. Uh, 
checking the overlays. Oh, no overlays because I do not have add a sort. And I do not have my super fast debug mode today. Well, graphically, I don't see any problem, and everything seems to be working fine. Dialogs, menus. Switch to 16-bit. HD, 16 bits, HD. Seems to be going fine. Oh, this looks good. So let me see what's next. Test a mini game, maybe. Hey, that watermelon was mine. Yeah, competition is fierce. Who won? I won, of course. Okay, graphically everything seems fine. Graphics seems good, showing fine. So I'm gonna go there and report to Chewy that the transplant was successful.